Okay, trying something a little bit differently, um, just recording off the front-facing camera of my phone. So I was having coffee this morning and had an article come across my feed in regards to the FBI getting involved to take down a thousand plus um, botnet of Mubot or malware that basically was applied to these commercial and residential routers um, supposedly from the Russian threat actor Fancy Bear so I figured I'd have just like try to do a quick PSA and I don't really expect a whole lot of traction or anything else in regards to this but don't really care just put out a PSA link the articles everything else like that and we'll have something um, so effectively what this comes down to is the FBI got involved, detected the malware infections on these routers, um, apparently they were able to sit there and I guess firewall these devices and then use the malware itself to remove itself from the devices and then they um, did some other f modifications, I'm assuming it would probably just be changing the disabling like remote admin console from public internet and then changing the passwords which made me think okay I mean we've had recent aspects of compromised routers come up into the news we've got this one from Ubot in Russia and I swear it's been within like the last month there was another thing with the FBI crowing about um, taking down a Chinese botnet um, for a bunch of compromised routers probably residential and commercial as well so I figured we do a quick PSA so effectively, the very first step, um, find out as to whether or not your router is still supported from the manufacturer. Is there still software slash firmware being produced and that you can update your copies of? Um, if it's out of warranty and out of la end of life, and for whatever reason you can't change something, then I know that there's open source alternatives like OpenWRT, Tomato, Merlin? I think is another one um, that you could potentially apply to something that's extremely old and out of date. Um, the other aspect might be too that you might be able to just get away with just making sure that you know the following steps are applied. Once that's once you've figured out as to whether or not if your router is still supported, next step comes down to making sure that the for their latest and greatest software slash firmware has been applied. Um, you have to do your own calculus as to whether or not if the manufacturer offers an automatic update or as to whether or not if you want to go through and apply the stuff yourself. I've got a semi-regular schedule myself to go through, scan my systems, everything else like that, and check for updates. Um, application, operating system, router, firewall, um, VM platform, everything. Um, you may just want to sit there and just try to avoid that headache and try to have all the things auto update that you can that's your own calculus you have to do I if, if something's gonna break the router I'd prefer to be the one pushing or pulling the trigger as opposed to a bad software slash firmware update pushed from the manufacturer um, that way the ownership's on me that okay I'm the one that pulled the trigger not the manufacturer so I could be mad at myself because I didn't sit there and properly vet the package or I didn't make sure that the router was on a UPS before going through and going and doing the update. Um, next biggest portion is making sure that the admin username and password has been changed. Um, I believe the the Chinese botnet was actual software flaws that had been patched although it wouldn't surprise me as to whether or not if it was admin panel access was open to the broad internet and the you know default admin 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 password or whatever the router's manufacturer's typical um, credentials allowed them to get remote access um, okay so admin credentials are changed uh, turn off the admin panel don't matter don't have it uh, accessible via the WAN interface or available to the public internet unless you absolutely need it um, what else past that point it comes down to the the usual ones that you would expect you know make sure you're using at a bare minimum WPA2 AES um, that you've got a, a long strong 
Wi-Fi password. And then it breaks down to the other aspects that you've got to do the, again, your own personal calculus with. You know, WPS off, um, UPnP off or disabled, um, making sure that mm, MAC address filtering, SSID broadcasting, if it makes you have the warm and fuzzies. But realistically, the biggest portion is um, pretty much what we've just ran through. And so it's just something to sit there and take a look at as a quick PSA. Um, again, I will have the, the, the articles, everything else like that down below. Um, yeah. So it, if you haven't recently, go see whether or not if there's a firmware update for your, uh, your router slash routers, your firewalls, everything else like that. Maybe change that admin, admin password to you know something a little bit more secure. Maybe harden your Wi-Fi infrastructure at home, and you know save yourself from getting infected with a nation-state malware and having the FBI you know knock on your door and say, "Give us your router. I need your boots, your clothes, and your motorcycle." Terminator Two, or some variation of that. Whatever. Um, but yeah. Go check your uh, edge infrastructure at, or for your personal home network. Get everything applied and avoid becoming a statistic, at least as much as possible. With all that being said, I'll see everybody in the next video.